Hi, my name is Terry Hart, and I've been in the ministry for over 60 years. In that 60 years, I've had to deal with a lot of crises in the lives of individuals, from marriage crises to uh, financial situations, uh, sickness and death, and all of these kind of things. But I have never uh, seen the fear in the minds of people like there is in the minds of our nation today. When I think about COVID-19 and, and what all it has brought upon us, uh, that makes me to realize that uh, there is an answer to our problem. And our answer is not in our government, it's not in, uh, in our specialists, because there's no such thing as a specialist for COVID-19. But when I think about COVID-19 and what all it's brought upon us, the thing that enters my mind is that I, I begin to think, what is God going to do next? Because it's usually about the time uh, that we reach the point of our crisis that God moves on the scene and intervenes for his children. Or maybe I should put it this way, that when we reach the point of crisis, we get very serious about it and begin to call on the Lord. One thing we know, and that is that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. And there's an old song that goes like this. I've got confidence the Lord's going to see me through. No matter what the trouble may be, I know he's going to fix it for me. And so when we think about that old song, it's not just something that somebody imagined in their minds. It actually comes from uh, the Word of God. In First uh, John uh, chapter 5 and verses 14 and 15 tells us that this is the confidence that we have in Him, that if we ask anything according to His will, and that word will is the key uh, to understanding this scripture. If we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him. And so the question that I would ask you today is where is your confidence? My confidence is in the Lord Jesus Christ. He's been with me for over 80 years. He's been with me in sickness. He's been with me in times of real hard trial. He's been the supplier of every need. He's been the healer of my body. And so I put my trust in him today, and I suggest that you would do the same.